Hello, what's up guys, Rajat from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. This is Silver FX Rotoscoping Masterclasses. In this video, I'll talk about Stereo Roto. So let's get started. Guys, right now we are working with Graphy by An Academy. Here you can find some amazing courses by VFX World and that complete tuition will be teaching by me in a live session. The very first season course based on Silver FX Rotoscoping Masterclasses will be starting from 22nd of May and it will end on 5th of June. Enrollment free is only 3000 so subscribe and enroll very fast because we have 10 seats only. So go and enroll. Guys, right now we are in Silver FX and in this video I'll talk about Stereo Roto. But before starting Stereo Roto, you have to take two plates like left plate and right plate because we have to know about what is exactly Stereo. The Stereo is basically the two plates that define your three-dimensional environment on your footage. Whenever you will put the anaglyph glasses, you can exactly feel that three-dimensional process. Okay, so here I have the left plate and the right plate. So this is a very tricky process to import and make a station on Silver FX for stereoscopic roto. So just select the left plate because we have to take any one from here as a hero plate. So I'm just selecting the left plate as a hero plate. Then go to session, new session and the same process here and then just simply press OK. So the station is created successfully. Now you have to import the right plate here as well. If you notice in this area, the, everything is normal here. Just click on this footage here. Now you can find out this area where you can find the left two plate is already imported on the stream option and you can find out the right plate is completely empty. So just select this one. You can, you can find out the right plate under this drop down. Just select this one. Now you can find out this panel is right now changed here. Now go to rotoscoping palette here and now you can toggle between left and right by pressing the command key shift and one and two. The one is for left and two is for right. And you have to make sure that you have to press shift and then one, two for toggle between left and right plate. Now, if you buffer this complete plate, it will look something like that. This is a left and right plate. I'm just toggling this too. Okay, so let me talk about few more options here. So first of all, this is a left plate and this is a right plate as I told. And this is the left and right by side by side view. Now, if you notice both the footage are exactly look like same, but this is not the true. The distortion between these two is exactly the same distortion panel of our eyes. The distance between our two eyes and distance between these two layers are exactly same and this is for the top to bottom division you can exactly check out the top and bottom this is a left and this is a right option if you notice there is a bit color changes also in between these two plates as well this is a lock option and in this case you can just turn this off and you can go to the left option only now this is an anaglyph mode this is a three dimensional mode and this is the process you can exactly check out the stereo alignment and all okay so before starting everything i just want to tell about all the shortcut keys so i just want to make sure the shift one for left shift two for right and and then shift three for left and right and then shift five for anaglyph you can find out this one shift five for anaglyph and shift six for complete full screen and stereo alignment process escape for complete going back okay i'm just going back to the left panel turn off the anaglyph here and let's start doing some rotoscoping so here you have to follow some very important settings first of all you have to take a new layer and make sure in stereo roto you can't take a big big shapes you have to take very small small shapes by division that because every shapes will be changed based on their perspective and make sure you have to proper layering as well now if you notice in this case when you take a new layer there's a l for left layer is exactly visible here okay so just rename this one so i'm just renaming like a neck just like this and press enter now select the layer i'll just uh, make a simple rotoscope of this back side of this so just select this area and i'm just making a bit bigger shape like this and press shift t to roto this this is a very simple and normal process and just uh, simply press just turn this off and press track forward so guys the track is done you can notice this is tracked really well and in this footage i can see the lot of perspective movement is also done so just press t and delete the shape here now let's start some rotoscoping steps and all by selecting this left layer of the neck so just take a b spline and i'm just starting a roto something like that just like this and next i am taking another layer and it will become just like this make sure you have to divide your layers just as i did here yeah. just make a shape another and that's it now you have to make sure the shape's position should be always in proper way i'm just showing you on this process and you can take your own time and make it more precise you know what i'm trying to tell okay so just make the shapes here and that's it and here as well 
and okay fine so the shapes are completely done properly now shift t select all these three shift a to check the uh, color overlay here just make it to invert and turn on the motion blur select all these three to turn on the motion blur as well okay so this is the very first option is done if you turn on the stabilized option for active layer let's do some rotoscoping for few frames let's do some these areas as well and uh, just bit like this select here and make sure the rotoscope in this case the rotoscope is very important but uh, when the compact do the stereoscoping part the the rotoscoping details will not need it that much in like normal roto because they added so many other stuffs to match both the plates here uh, that is completely in comp department and i'll make a dedicated video on that very very soon and that's it and here it is uh, yeah that is done okay so i'm just done the few frames here if you notice this is the distortion here and i just want to take few frames here as well to fix here okay i'll just get back to you whenever i've done the complete fixes so guys the rotoscoping is done if you notice i just done very few frames and i'm doing it very roughly you can take your own time and do it more precisely now the next step select the neck layer and just lock this layer because we have to do it very precisely because most of the time we are doing the wrong process without locking the layer so make sure you have to lock the layer first now select the layer right click you can find out the stereo option and then duplicate yes now whenever you duplicate this you can notice exactly the all the layers and the shapes are getting right automatically getting changed here so select the layer and turn this off so basically what you have to do you just have to match with this all the distortions here now select the neck layer 2 or the right layer and by pressing shift and you have to go to this right plate by pressing shift and 2 now you are going back to the right plate here now you can see the layers are getting distorted on this exact layer and when you go to the left plate and you can right plate see the both the shapes positions are exactly different but we don't have to change the shapes positions here as I do the normal rotation that is a complete wrong process for stereoscoping we have to change the layer position yes so just select the layer now we have to match those two layer exact position so just go to the stereo alignment option by clicking this one you can find out these edges are looking just like this now you can find the cursor here it looks something like that as you can see in front of your screen now select and you can press the navigation key for left and right you don't have any permission for top and bottom distortion you just have only one permission for left and right now you have to match both the pixels so just zoom here and just have to match this all the pixels in exactly same now you can notice the distortion are completely done now if you notice this area is getting distorted this area is getting distorted because we have to match only this area not the entire shape we have to make each and every layers in a different different part and then you have to match by using the same method now just turn this off and if you notice this layer positions and the shape position exactly same now press shift 1 and 2 you can exactly see both the layers positions and both the shapes positions are exactly same if you're going forward here you can see this is our main rotoscoping part and we'll go to the right see both the right plate and the left plate rotoscopings are done the so basic process is you have to make a roto for left plate or your hero plate and then you have to match that on your right plate that's the process of the stereoscoping just turn this off the this one and now if you go to this anaglyph this is your final output when you put the uh, the stereo glasses and all you can exactly see the three-dimensional depth of this footage guys this video link is in description box below go and download the stereo plate and start working your roto and i hope guys you will understand what i'm trying to show you by using this very simple stereoscoping roto classes and guys if you want to learn more about this in detailed way you obviously have to go and enroll here in graphy by an academy because this is a very good opportunity for all of you so don't miss this and subscribe and also enroll very fast and guys before closing this video if you still not follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in description box below go and follow us over there and i'll be back with some more amazing content till then have fun stay home don't go outside keep rocking keep watching vfx world